be the Talk AFC and welcome back here to the channel guys. A Barcelona news roundup coming up for you today and we do have some big, big news coming up because La Liga has been given the green light. We're going to be talking there about the imminent return of football. We're also going to be talking about this morning's training session and of course the big, big news. Some fantastic insights from Kike Setien after he did an interview last night and he spoke about some big, big topics from Neymar to Lataro to a number of different potential signings along with those in the current squad who may be leaving. Lots to discuss, lots to dissect. It's all coming up in today's video. Let's do it. And if we do, first of all, start with that morning training session, which once again took place at 9.30 a.m. at the training ground. But unfortunately, I do have to bring you the news that today there was a rather unwelcome visitor to our training session because President Bartomeu was on the scene. He actually arrived this morning at the training ground. He met up with the squad there for the first time since our return to that training. As you can see from the photos, the players looked absolutely thrilled with what he had to say. I'm absolutely sure of that. He spoke about the Champions League, apparently. Apparently he spoke about La Liga, the return of football, and as you can see there, Bartomeu sending the entire squad to sleep. Not exactly what Kike Setien had in mind. But after that visit from Bartomeu, the players will take a day off tomorrow to get themselves recovered from that. And that'll mean there they've trained for five out of the seven days this week. Sunday will be off, and then next week they'll be back in again as we continue every single day, stepping up that recovery, looking there to be at the absolute best possible shape for when football returns. Because... We will need to be, because today, this afternoon, the Spanish government officially confirmed La Liga has the green light to return from the week beginning, June the 8th. Which, let me tell you now, is not that far away. We are looking here about the possible return of La Liga football from that Monday, June the 8th. And that right now is little there over two weeks away. Now, whether we'd see games at the very beginning of that week on the Monday, we'll have to wait and see what La Liga decide. They may choose to wait until the Friday of that week to get things underway. That there will be June the 12th. That's a date they've always seemed to be striving for. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly what they decide. But really now, it is getting down to the business end. The preparation has to continue, has to be stepped up. I'm sure very, very soon we are going to see a return there to full training sessions. And then we just wait for the action to get back underway. But of course, I do want to talk in some detail about Kike Setien and exactly what he said last night when he sat down there with an online sort of interview with Be In Sports in Spain. And he gave lots of different insights there. He was asked about a number of topics. And in particular there, I think us as fans can take a lot away from some of the things that he said. He was asked, first of all, about how he felt the training sessions were going since returning there to football. He said they're very stimulating. He said we're very, very happy with how the players arrived. The squad is in good shape. He said the enthusiasm every single player is putting into their work is very, very pleasing. He said, now we've been able in the past few days to be able to use the ball a lot more in our sessions and I'm very happy with the squad's disposition. So Setien there, very, very happy with what he's seen so far from the players in their training. It was interesting though to hear some words on Suarez and he did seem to be a little bit cautious there when speaking about Suarez's return. He said, as of right now, he's not fully recovered. He's very, very close, but he's not 100% recovered yet. He said, I think he's in very good shape though. He's been looking good and for the past few days, he's been working with his team Teammates, and he said he's doing everything his teammates are doing as well. But he did say the operation that Suarez had meant there that he did miss a good chunk of the season. He has been out for a number of months. And Setien said, we have to take things slowly. We'll continue there to evaluate Suarez. And I think certainly there, judging from those words from Setien, they are going to make sure Suarez is absolutely right before he returns. They're not going to push it. They're not going to force him back too soon. Everything must be checked. And it was then interesting that Setien did go on to talk about Lionel Messi's quotes on the Champions League. He was asked there about Messi saying, that maybe there was misunderstanding in each other's words where Messi, of course, said that we can't win the Champions League unless we improve. And Setien, they responded, basically shut down any sort of rumours there about unrest behind the scenes. He said it seems to be something that has generated a lot of debate. But I think in summary, we both know exactly what we mean. He said the reality is, myself and Messi, we are both convinced that we want to win the Champions League and that we can win the Champions League. He said it's very true, things must be improved, but there's no doubt that we're both convinced this team has enough raw quality to win the Champions League and that's something that I would love to do especially 
for the fans. Then, of course, came the inevitable questions surrounding transfers. Now, of course, in these sort of interviews, coaches really give too much away. They don't really like to talk about players that aren't contracted to their club. But I've got to say, Setien did come out with some very, very intriguing quotes, particularly when it comes to Neymar Jr. First of all, though, he was asked about Lataro Martinez. He was slightly less revealing, I feel, in his answer about Lataro. He said it's clear there are four or five players who play in that forward position that are extraordinary and that any one of them could be playing at Barcelona. He said, Lataro is a player who I feel will be very, very good in this team, but also like other players of his levels. And Setien there not giving anything away when it comes to Lataro Martinez. He also spoke there about Miralem Pjanic. He said, I've always said that I like watching great footballers. And as these players are great, they are all likely to end up at big teams like Barcelona. He said, Pjanic is a great player, but just like dozens of others who also appear in the press every single day. So Setien there certainly not going too depth into those Pjanic rumours stating that many, many players have the quality here to play at Barcelona and that we shouldn't really single out Miralem Pjanic at this stage. But like I say, on Neymar, he was certainly more bold. He was basically asked whether he'd like the coach Neymar, whether he'd enjoy that challenge and also enjoy, of course, working there with somebody with a talent of Neymar. And Setien actually came back and he said, without a doubt, I would love to be able to coach Neymar one day. And that was a quote there that ended up on the headline there of the Spanish media. They were all over that in the Spanish press this morning, as you can imagine. He went on to say, I've already fulfilled the dream of coaching the best player in the world. That's Leo. And as for those who could come in this summer, he said, we'll have to wait and see, but I would be delighted to coach Neymar. Of course I would. So Setien there, very bold, very, very direct. He'd love to coach Neymar. Whether he'll get that chance though, still, we don't know and it still seems unlikely. It was interesting though, as Setien went on in that interview, not only there about players coming in, but he also spoke about potential players who could be going out from Barcelona this summer. And much like there with the signing, Setien I don't think was ever going to come out and be too bold in his approach. Because you've got to remember, like we said the other day, these are players that still have a part to play. Even players who are going to be leaving in the summer, they've still got to finish this season. There's still games where we are going to need them. And he was asked there about Rakitic, he was asked about Vidal. And I think actually though, there is a bit of a difference in both answers. Let me give you the full quote here. Because on Rakitic, he said, as long as Rakitic is a Barcelona player, I will continue to count on him. He said, since he's been here, I don't know exactly how many minutes he's played, but I have played him. He is a good footballer. Whereas on Vidal, I felt as though Setien was much, much more glowing in his reference there of Arturo Vidal. He said he's a player who always transmits energy and positivity. He said he's an extraordinary boy, both in terms of attitude and also what he can give us in other ways too. He said we're very, very happy with him because he's a good person. He's a good kid. And I just felt there as though, yes, he praised Rakitic. He said certainly that whilst he's here, he will count on him. But I did feel as though there, he was much more inclined to praise praise Vidal and whether or not there we can read anything into that. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. Finally though, away from the stresses of being the Barcelona coach, away from those incomings, away from those outgoings, away from all the things that come with being the Barcelona coach, he was asked there, what have you felt here about your first months as the Barcelona coach in all? And he said, it's been a very, very positive two months for me. He said, training Barcelona has been fulfilling a dream. It's an objective that one has in his life when he decides to be a coach. And more in my case, because I've always been a follower of this team and also its way of playing. He said, it's been two very exciting months. He said it's been very intense. He put a lot of emphasis there on the fact that it had been intense, but he said, I'm very, very happy to be here. And with how things are gone, it's good so far. But he kept reiterating there, the aim is to secure now La Liga. The aim is to go for the Champions League. Setien is absolutely dreaming about that Champions League title. And of course, when football returns, we can't forget here, guys. We are still in with the chance of landing both of them. Top of La Liga. We are in the driving seat in our game against Napoli. There is plenty more to play for. For. And if that news about La Liga is anything to go by, it shouldn't be too long now before we're back on the field and fighting for everything once again. So that there, guys, is today's news from the world of Barcelona. I did hope you enjoyed there those Kike Setien quotes, and I'm really interested to see there how you viewed a lot of the things that he said. So please do let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, any other news at all, any updates, I'll be bringing them straight to you. And I've got lots of other videos planned as well. Because if you guys would like me to, I can bring you on Monday a potential match preview for the massive game that's coming next week from Germany. It's Bayern against Borussia 
Dortmund. That is one that we are all going to be very, very interested in. Any football fan wants to sit down there and watch that game. So let me know in the comments down below, would you like to see a match preview? We haven't done one in a while. I do miss them. I do miss researching. I do miss there getting all the stats together and having a look at both teams. So let me know if you would like to see that. And of course, I can do a match review for you guys. That will be coming along with plenty more too. Thanks as always for your support. Let me know those thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, I will see you soon. Plenty more to come. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh, <laughs>